Guys, I'm going to tell you an incredible story. Okay, Snowball. This better be a good one. Yeah, you've already oversold it. Trust me, it's going to be good. I, I, I think. Y yes, it will be. All right. All right. This is the story of how I got your laptops. Oh yeah, those ones you gave us the other day? I was wondering where you got those. They're really nice, by the way. Thanks again for- Silence! Back to the story. Now, back in the summer of 2012, I was working on a little project with some of the other stagehands. Whew. <sighs> that last episode took hours to film. I don't know about you, but I'm starving. Me too. I think I saw a fried chicken stand on the way here. Wanna grab some on our way home? Fried chicken stands? But wait, Chris, aren't you a vegetarian? It doesn't matter, Ian. Everything we eat is plastic anyways. <laughs> True. All right, let's go. All right, play me in, Archie. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. And welcome to another episode of The Late Night Snowball. Tonight's special guest is a man who was eaten by a whale, pooped out by that whale, and then thrown into a box by a giant. Please welcome the armless man. So tell me, armless guy is not your actual name, correct? No, people just call me that because I have no arms. So you do have a normal name? Yeah. Fascinating. We'll delve more into that later in the show. But right now, let's go into your great escape. You say you were just a head thrown in a box by weird enormous giants? Yes, I was. That's quite the claim. How did you get out? And how is it that you have your body back? Well, after I was thrown in, I tried to- What is going on here? Smell the ball, Archie. Oh, uh, hello, Chip. Uh, we were just messing around. Uh, you know, having fun and... Uh, uh, scatter everyone! Ah! Sir, are you alright? <laughs> twinkle, twinkle, little bat. How I wonder what you read. Oh. Now this next part, I'm not exactly sure what happened. So I'll just imagine and run through to when I woke up. Now to when I woke up. Snowball. 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 Can you hear me? Ooh. Uh, yes. W what's going on? You were hit on the head by a microphone. I used my big expensive scanner and found that the blow gave you a serious concussion that's causing a buildup of custard in your head. You have to be operated on immediately if you're going to be saved. All right. But the thing is, I don't know anything about vampire anatomy, so for this to work, you're going to have to change into a bat. I don't know if I can do that. I feel so weak. You've got to try, Snowball. If you don't, you're dead. Or undead. Or whatever it is that happens to you people. Alright. I'll try. <laughs> Come on, Snowball. Come on! Come on, Snowball! 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 He did it! Yeah. Archie, are you alright? What happened? I do not know. He just collapsed. He is acting strangely. Help him. I have to begin the operation. I will try to. What's wrong with Archie? Don't worry about him. I'm going to knock you out now so I can operate. Wait, that looks like a hammer. 
Next thing I knew, I woke up and jolted into a vampire again. <laughs> what, 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 what happened? I'm back to normal. That's right. I was able to stop the custard cluster in your head, and I had enough drained out to bake a pie. Nice. But the real good news is over there. And that's when I saw it, boys. The most beautiful thing in the world. It turns out my best friend Archie was pregnant, and had just given birth to two beautiful brand new, limited warranty, laptop computers. Now, Archie was not yet ready to take up the task of caring for these two new electronics, so he decided to put them up for adoption. I suggested he give them to you guys. And that is how I got you your laptops. Hmm. You know, I was wondering why we both had the sudden urge to say, come on, Snowball, at the same time. So, wait. Archie was pregnant with two laptops? Yes. Twins. But how did he get pregnant? I don't know. I never worked out the courage to ask him. Wait, so vampire heads are filled with custard? Yes. Does that mean that pie Michael gave us was made from the insides of your head? I suppose. We have to stop accepting gifts from our friends. So wait, you and Archie have been putting on your own talk show after we leave the studio? How long has this been going on? I don't know, since like the beginning of April? You've been doing a talk show for over three months and haven't had us on it yet? I don't know about you, Ian, but I'm offended. I'm so offended that I want to storm off. But since this is our house, I don't really have any place to storm off to. We could storm off to the kitchen. Mm, that's right, we can, shall we? Yes, I believe we shall. But wait, guys, I was going to have you on. I just didn't know what you would think. Uh, how about next week? Next week? We'll, we'll consider, consider it. it. <laughs>